Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to the farm. And today I've been messing around with some of my settings, trying to get this video to record a little more smoothly. And uh, unfortunately, it means I already hit the downloaded content and went through the new content that I want to download. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the career mode here. And we can see that the items I've added in have not yet been selected. So let's walk through them real quick. I added in the Amazon spreader, the Brettle spreader, the buyable small square bales, the low loader, large tractor, front lifter, cedar, um, the trail lifter, three point, three point towing lifter, high pressure, washer, animal trailer, another spreader, medium sized tractor or small sized tractor depending on uh, I guess how you want to look at it. And that is everything. Oh yes, and the water tank. So let's get those selected. Let's go ahead and start the game. Okay, here we are. Nice July morning, 10.30 a.m. Um, when we last left the farm, we were starting the canola harvest. Uh, so first things first. Always first things first. What's for sale? Nothing that I need or can afford. All right. So my truck is here. Let's hop in the truck. And we'll go ahead and uh, cruise on over. So we'll drive over to the harvesting. Let me kick this up a few miles per hour. And let's go ahead and park in the shade. All right, so we started harvesting last time we were here. Um, so looks like we got a good chunk of the field done. Harvester's 81% full. As I mentioned before, I like to do field work with uh, hired help. I can take care of some other things while the field work is going on. And uh, that's always nice. It does cost money, so I'm not using them to move my equipment around at the moment. All right, so while this is almost finished here, let's uh, hop out, go get our trailer, and get over here to Unload the harvester. Now I do need to check the canola prices. Let's just do that real quick. Canola prices. The oil mill. The oil mill. 22.64. Didn't I buy the oil mill? Where's my production lines? I did buy the oil mill. So I can haul this stuff down straight away, get it in the oil mill.
get it in the oil mill and get it processing while this harvest continues. Actually, the trailer is only going to be about 30% full. So we'll probably just sit here and wait. Okay. Seems we have Seems we've identified this glitch again. For some reason, this guy wants to take off and do crop damage shit. For some reason, this guy wants to take off and do the wrong field. And I do not understand why. So I'm just going to finish this field off myself. And then we'll move on to the next field. Let's head over to the oil mill. We'll cut across this 
section of the farm, which is not mine yet. One of the mods that I'm hoping for is the field leasing. Um, I think it would be interesting to play with field leasing where you have to pay a fee or perhaps a percentage of your harvest. Look both ways before crossing the road. Uh, pay a percentage of your harvest or a fee or a combination thereof. Uh, but you get to use the field and you can put your own crop, sow your own crop, harvest your own crop, everything you need to do. Stop at the stop sign, look both ways before entering traffic. Um, you know, you can buy a field, run through, harvest it, and sell it. Um, you know, you could then use the power tools to take some money out as if you paid that lease, regardless of, you know, how the game mechanics actually work. Um, but it seems that to buy a field, harvest it, sell it, get all the money back on the field so that there was no leasing fee, uh, that's a little bit outside of the realm of what I'm wanting to do with regards to how much realism I um, incorporate into my games. As I've said before, there's a certain amount of realism that I want to keep, and that's an example of realism that I prefer to keep um, in the game. All right, so there's no profit. That's a little crop damage. That's a little bit of an issue there. So I've got a few landscaping issues that I need to address. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go over here and unload this harvester. So let's move the tractor over there. Ninety-four percent, almost ready for uh, my next unload. Looks like we're going to get the uh, pipe turned out on the right side. So let's go ahead and get this turned around. And the pipe should be coming out right now. So it looked like I dumped off about 14,000 liters of canola. Into the processing plant. Um, we're already storing 94 liters, so I was well over 14,000 liters of canola deposited. Already making canola oil. And the price for canola has gone down. Not that that matters. 
2165 for 1,000 liters. And when we look at the oil, we're at 38 for 1,000 liters. We're in July, which is the lowest point. That's when we're harvesting. So if we can hold on to this oil until we get into October, November, December, then theoretically I'm going to be able to get the best price for it. Thank you. 